Hello and welcome to kingsnake.com. Today we're talking with Wayne Hill from the National Reptile Breeders Expo in Daytona Beach, Florida. Uh, Wayne, how are you today? Fine. How many uh, expos does this make for you in Florida? This will be the 18th annual. 18th annual expo. That's an awful lot of snakes through the doors there. Uh, you guys started out in Orlando and you moved to Daytona a few years back. And, and the show just seems to keep growing and getting bigger every year. What are some of the things that we can expect to see at this year's Daytona? Well, over 650 booths, as it has been the last couple of years. Um, every year we, we have more and more animals that have been captive born, which is strictly enforced at my show. And uh, so you get a bigger selection every year. And we also have vendors from 13 countries now. So we get things that are important in other areas of the world. What are some of the other events that happen during the Reptile Breeders Expo besides, of course, the expo or the sale? Well, um, Thursday night we have a cocktail party that's uh, sponsored by uh, the Gourmet Rodent and T-Rex and Timberline. And this is for the vendors to get early registration and get all their credentials on Thursday night. Uh, Friday is set up, and Friday afternoon we have another cocktail party in our art room because we have a Cold-Blooded Creations art show that has original artwork from about 15000 down to 100 bucks, something for everybody. Then we have uh, Friday night lectures. We have uh, five, uh, five speakers speaking on turtles in one room. And this year we'll have a boa constrictor symposium in the other room going on at the same time. And then Saturday night we have an auction where we normally raise about $20,000 for different conservation efforts. This year it will be the North American bog turtle group that's trying to preserve habitat for the bog turtle. Who are some of the organizations that, that uh, promote their, their products and their services at your shows? Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a very long list. Uh, I, I will say this, that there's a number of organizations that help us with the show. The three sponsors I just mentioned, and of course Kingsnake, uh, have been uh, instrumental in getting the word out and keeping the word out. And word of mouth has been most of our uh, help in keeping the show moving forward and getting bigger every year because we don't advertise to the public. We just advertise to the herp community and uh, so it's a word of mouth thing. How is Daytona Beach treating you? I know a couple of years back we had a hurricane come through the show, uh, but, but other than that, how, how does Daytona Beach work out for the show? It works out real good because when we were in Orlando, we were like the little fish in the big pond, and you couldn't negotiate with hotels for good rates because they'd say, if you don't take it, the guys at Disney World will. But in Daytona, We've organized it to be in August, which is the slowest tourist month of the year, and it gives us a lot of leverage to get decent rates. And so the hotel has treated us okay, but a struggle. The Ocean Center, on the other hand, has been very cooperative, and they're expanding the facility to have a 100,000 square foot room for us, supposedly in 08, but I'm not going to count on it till 09. And we'll be able to expand from about 700 tables this year to over a thousand tables uh, in 08 or 09 if the demand is there. A thousand tables, that, that would probably make you the, the, the biggest reptile show on the planet, and certainly in the United States. Well, I am the largest show in the world at this time. There's another big show in Germany, but it's a one-day show, and uh, they probably bring as many people through as I do on a given day, but we have people shopping on for three days, and they have shopping for one day, and we have larger facilities. We take all of the Ocean Center, both floors as of last year, and all of the space available at the Hilton. So uh, generally, it's a good time to be had. Well, Wayne, I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule today and talking with us and telling us about uh, what's going to be happening at this year's Expo. I know there's a, a lot of our listeners that will be wanting to go, and certainly we'll be there. Hopefully we'll be there handing out T-shirts, but we're not quite sure what we're going to do next, this year. Um, for everybody at kingsnake.com, this is Jeff Berenger and Wayne Hill. Have a good day. Sorry.